Hello everyone, Liquid Nuts with you. Today we're gonna talk about post plants and uh, retakes. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit, maybe short, maybe long video. I'm not sure about right now, but I will try to explain uh, the basics and also the most important things while you're trying to retake and we're trying to hold the post plant. So might be it gonna be hard. If you have any questions, just write it in the comments and I'll try to answer them in the future. So now we're gonna, you're gonna watch what I'm trying to explain you. Uh, so let's start talking about post plants and retakes. First, I'll explain more about the post plants because I feel like post plants are a bit easier. Uh, post plants is actually is not a hard thing, but uh, sometimes it's like, it's pretty hard. Yeah, it's a bit uh, weird, but idea behind the post plants. What's the important thing? First, you have to understand what kind of positions you have to stay. Second, you have to understand why you have to stay in that position. Third, we have to understand what kind of abilities opponents have, so you understand you, why you have to stay in that position. Fourth is the community. Yeah, on all of the maps, unluckily I could not show the most important positions because they were always going to change because of the ultimate abilities of the opponents. But I'll try to explain the ideas. For example, Ascent, B post plan. We know that against us, people has million flashes. And we understand that we could not play backside, right? Because they're gonna smoke us, they're gonna use abilities, and if we're gonna stay only side, we're gonna die. If you understand that, you have to create other post plan. You have to create a white post plan. You just have to stay like side, backside, uh, tunnel or close to market boat somewhere but you don't have to give the space for opponents to go the position where they can use abilities for free so we have to do something that's gonna be annoying for them so you wanna play white post plan you're gonna play tunnel you're gonna show yourself you're gonna play backside side somewhere close to the tunnel and all of that person's gonna pick to each other and they have to use abilities to the close positions then and their abilities for the close positions already gonna be bad uh, worse because you have you playing different angles they could not flash with one flash everything so the idea behind the post plan you have to understand what abilities you have first and you have to understand what abilities your opponents has only after that you understand what kind of post plan you can do so what positions going to be comfortable for you that's why i don't see the reason to show the best positions for the post plans because you you can stay where you want if you feel that opponents doesn't have abilities and nothing gonna disturb you in post plans, as I said, you have to understand what abilities you have, what abilities enemies have, and on that you're creating idea of the post plan. You're just saying to your mates, okay, we go behind because I have lineups. Or you say, I go lineups, you play close. For example, yeah, in the rank it's gonna be a bit hard to explain to the teammates because you are not communicating with each other always and uh, it's gonna be hard to explain everybody, yeah, they don't have that ability because that's why you have to go back. But if you're gonna understand it by your own, it's already gonna increase your post plans ideas and it's already gonna be better for you because you're gonna understand why is that happening and why is other teammates, other players doing like this. For retake, uh, retake, retake, retake. Super important thing. For example, we know that uh, they take B side and you're rotating towards B. While you're rotating, you say to your mates, I have that, that, that abilities. And the rest of the team saying the same. After that, somebody in your team or you giving the idea. Okay, if we have that abilities, for example, we have you, we can use knife yeah. here. We can use wall, yeah. sage wall for retake. We can use yeah. molly here and we can use, I don't know, uh, yeah. flash and reveal also. For example, people on post plan B, usually they putting the wall. They go in behind yellow and this position somewhere. On some and sometimes somebody is playing close to the wall. So what we're doing? We're using knife towards yellow to understand the info how many people is playing back yellow. After that, if we know that somebody is back yellow, we're just retaking. So we're using molly, we're using flash here, we're using reveal, flash for reveal, so reveal can tick once. We're using sage wall, and in that kind of situation, sage is going to defuse and the other teammates is fighting. So you already don't care about the yellow because you clear it. If somebody is gonna, yeah. if you're gonna get molly here, you have to go right or left. And it's already a duel. So, the idea behind it. 
as I said, for retakes and post plans, the most important thing. You have to always know what abilities you have and what abilities opponents already use that you could, could not recharge. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was helpful. Might be in some, in some kind of way it was a bit hard to understand what I'm trying to explain. Might be my English was bad, who knows, but I hope it was helpful anyway for you. The only thing that I could ask you, please, yeah, might be it's not the only thing, but try to leave a comment, please, uh, leave a like, follow my YouTube channel, and if it's possible, follow my other socials, please, also. I hope you like that, and uh, thank you so much for watching, have a good evening, have a good night, bye-bye.